Howdy folks, so we kind of had to reset uh, for episode two, uh, mainly because it's about six hours later after we did the first one, because originally we were only going to do one episode of I Love You Colonel Sanders, um, but we had some extra time, so I am Dave. I'm Matt. And we also had to play it forward a little bit, uh, or uh, replay a little bit of what we did at the end of the episode um, from last time, just because of how it kind of lined up with checkpoints and stuff like that. But we're basically back to where we were. Yeah, so. I think we've got maybe a couple of screens, yeah. but nothing crazy. Yeah. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh, no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature. Adorable tiny food creations. We did this part, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 skip it forward just slightly a little bit. Hurry up, pair off. Uh, yep, because you pair up with Colonel Sanders. Yeah. We be hoes. So. And then she gets her two partners, but she yeah. has to pick one. Okay, so we're, we're, right we're catching yeah. up. I think we're, like, right there now. Hello, new partner! Beep boop. <laughs> oh my, two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to be Miriam's partner? I think we vote Clank. I yeah. feel like Pop's too much of a liability. Sorry, Pop. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> Sorry, Pop. <laughs> but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay. I already ate. I'm not, it's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. <laughs> Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. <laughs> Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. <laughs> Kiss you? I hardly know you. Ha 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 Clank judders and a panel shakes loose. <laughs> you get the impression that this is a sign of affection. <laughs> Looks like you two will be fine. <laughs> now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which just do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Uh, well, obviously, I mean, it's the octopus. Yeah, octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. It's the Octo Dad too. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We played that earlier today as well. Uh, we're thinking we're gonna go think mashed potatoes and gravy. I think we're doing yeah, mashed yeah. potatoes. Look, it's the heart. Yeah, 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 I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting. Comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. And gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sander casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. <clears throat> Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Oh, go get the potatoes! No, please, let me. Picking perfect <laughs> produce is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. Getting catty. And you better yeah. keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me? It's the rock. <laughs> Ugh, no. Jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing drumsticks' dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley, Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Jumpstick was struggling, so we offered to give him a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get to my level. Ha! Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to talk creations. 
worthy of admiration. So before you continue, is the more I look at Ashley, the more I realize KFC is really pushing for the like waifu thing with her. Oh well, no shit, dude. And, and, like I'm sitting there, and it's like it's like the more I look, and it's like it's like the thick thighs with the high the thigh highs. Yeah. We got the short skirt. We got the big knockers. We got the yeah. hair. The really flirty face. Oh, yeah, they're really pushing that waifu. I mean, yeah. It's, it's an anime dating sim, dude. I mean, I don't know what you expect. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But, Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we can cast completely comp complementary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes sense, but one thing is clear. He's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley is going, really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Uh, I feel like you turned to Colonel Sanders. I mean, we've kind of committed to him at this yeah. point. So yeah. I'm here to learn to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class. Let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements from contracts to handshakes. I took on Drumstick as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Drumstick's natural talent or their loyalty. Oh, he got the hots for us back. Yeah, buddy. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis in their short and <laughs> sturdy stature. <laughs> you look down at your station and realize that, in the tip of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture <laughs> with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. <laughs> the results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. <laughs> You reach out and grab a hold of it. But he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same sport. And for that small moment, all of the oh, madness and pressure in this crazy my world God. stops. Hey, man, aren't you so glad we're playing this again? I, uh, <laughs> I think all decisions are... Mm. <laughs> Your eyes lock. The moment is... Electric. Electric. <laughs> yeah. Time stands still. If you love something, holy Christ. Together, you dig the utensils and mashed potatoes and lift the heaping spork full up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spork full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Van Van, do something, do something! Scooping up a finger full, Van Van tastes the delicious, dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, Jumpstick. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potatoes face? Van Van rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy. <laughs> Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. <laughs> you've, you've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who ha will have first bite. And you will look on, all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bit of his bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned into the process. The results could be toxic. Too late it has been eaten. I, uh, 
think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It killed him. <laughs> <laughs> this is so campy. Oh my uh, god. Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle <laughs> being slurped up in Pop's mouth. Pop which is in pain for just a moment, and then is almost immediately back to his ob oblivious self. Oopsie. <laughs> Tastes like poison. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock is frozen the whole crowd. They're emotionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons <laughs> of all the I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Um, or, um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense. You know, the one who died. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel, Sanders, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. Ooh, second base. What? Like, uh -huh. for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sandals. It's Colonel, Colonel Sandals? Sa <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> it's like Metal Slug when you room. kept calling yeah, it Metal Gear. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know... They're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Also, Rogue, be quiet, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders... Yes, drumstick. There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I've been working toward that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts. Also, did you notice that we kind of sound similar, just you sound yeah. way more arrogant? Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's a little more, like, sass to yeah. it. It's like, oh! Yeah, just a little bit. Um, then our souls may grant them wishes like floating on shooting stars. Hey! No! I! You! Shut up! I'm the only one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that you're cooking literally kill the guy? <laughs> you can't prove that. What's he doing with his left I hand? I don't know. It's like he. It's uh, it's almost like he's trying to like push a push away, like yeah. trying to push people. I don't know. Van Van's a whole other breed. <laughs> yeah. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long sad <laughs> sigh. <laughs> Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. The Spork Monster is here to fight a hero. <laughs> I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. How dare you threaten me as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be a, be a frick. Be afraid! Be very afraid of me. Because I'm a monster, see? And we will fight this on the next episode, because I need to go take care of my dogs real quick. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next yep. one.